What's going on, everybody? It's a red, large daytime. I'm gonna go uh, walk around a little bit. You guys get to um, come with me on my walk. So, I had to start doing more daytime stuff. Many of you know I'm having problems with the, with the live streaming from my where I've been live streaming at. So I had to do it from here now. I had to change it up, make things a little bit different. I hope everybody's having. Hey, what's going on, you guys? What's going on, Brooklyn? What's up? What's going on for? I, I, I'm changing it up, changing it up. Um, just got to do what I got to do. I got. Gotta, I gotta support. I got. I gotta provide. I gotta. I gotta keep. You know. To, I want to keep. Uh, keep talking with you guys. So you're gonna start seeing more more daytime stuff from me. Then uh, a lot of you like my channel. And I appreciate. I appreciate everybody. I'm just gonna have to start doing more things outdoors. Um, walking around, just shooting. You know, talk, doing my thing. Get ready to cross the street. So I'm out. I'm out. Out in town, just walking around. Decided to go live while I was out here. Maybe we'll uh, we'll look at a few things while I'm out here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully I don't get ran over. Walking across the street. Stop at a few places. Check a few things out. I'm out in the pot. Just wanted to say hi to you guys. Yeah, what do we got going on here? Uh oh, it's my buddy. It's my buddy out here cooking that food. Here we go. Yes, we're on the lot. Lar lot. Checking out the food. Here we go. Yes, my brother out here cooking. Here we go. Yes, what's up, brother? Got the ribs going. Yes. Got the freaking ribs, look at that. Yes. Got the chicken. It looks like he just started this. Got the open fire. So I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm just out uh, walking around. Yes, look at that. I wish you guys could smell this food. This food smells excellent. Look at these ribs. Oh my God. This is the joint right here. Right there, Del Toro Market. Good people. So, anyways, I just uh, decided to change it up, provide you guys a little a little change in content. Get out, do some walking, talk a little bit. You know, do the thing. I see there's still a lot of stories coming out, uh, still coming out about Dalton, Dalton, Illinois, the village, the village of Dalton. They're corrupt freaking politicians. It's only gonna get worse for those for those fools in Dalton, by the way. Yes. Yay. You in Dalton. It's gonna get worse for you. It's not gonna get better. People care. People are watching. Hope everybody's having a good day. We'll see if anybody tries to cost. <laughs> well. Most of these people aren't used to seeing me during the daytime anyway, so we'll see how many people say something to me. Hey, what are you doing out? What are you doing out during the daytime? So I'm just, uh, here's my, here's my other prop for when I do my video, my shorts. Here's the other prop that I use. There it is right there. Yes. It's when I do my, it's what I use for my prop. <laughs> Me, look at it. it's Lar and the peoples, the peoples over here. Yes, about uh, uh, the the Walk of Fame. Yes. <laughs> What's the fool doing? See, it's, it's gonna be a lot. One big long Lar for president. There goes my buddy. He's got a DB9. You guys see that behind me? You have to turn. I know that guy. Anyways, look at, ah, it's Lar, the Walk of Fame. Yes, <laughs> vote for Lar. 
<laughs> Hope everybody's doing good. I'm looking at the chat. I'm trying to see the chat. All right. It's kind of bright out here. Anyways, just doing my thing. Getting out in town, walking around. I want to go down here real quick. Get a little, get a little time. Yes. I got Brooklyn Miss. Who else I got in here? I got Brooklyn Miss. I have Fur, Brooklyn Miss. Angel. <laughs> que paso, guapo. <laughs> what you up to, Angel? Who else is this? I got Indiana Auditors. We, the peoples. Yes. Big Chief, the Chief that's big. Let's see, who else is up in here? Indiana Otters, on him. Lemmy. What's going on, Lemmy? <laughs> I'm just out and about, man. I'm, getting, I'm not used, to, I feel like a full, I feel like a full, I feel like a full blown vampire out here during the daytime. <laughs> Hopefully nobody tries to attack me or jump me. <laughs> what's that, what's that fool doing out during the daytime? So I'm just out, I'm walking, I'm looking. I don't want to get ran over. But hold up a second. Looks safe. <laughs> Looks like I can get across without getting killed. All right, yes. I hope everybody's having a good, uh, what's today, Tuesday. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. I'm gonna be doing more of these uh, daytime lives. Uh, I'm having issues with uh, live streaming from where I've been live streaming. It's not working out. My last live stream, they interrupted my live stream. I didn't even know it. I didn't notice it. I think somebody in the chat mentioned that it was interrupted, but I didn't notice it. When I ended the live stream, there was a banner about how my live stream was interrupted. So anyways, they are still interrupting live streams and giving out a uh, I got a copyright strike on my last night, a live stream for meta, metadata. Didn't even say what it was that the copyright was strong. It just said met, metadata. I was like, what does that mean? But that's what they put. Anyways, I'm out and about just doing my thing. Get ready to cross the street. It's busy out here. It's daytime. People are out doing their thing. Yay! Wait for the for the light to change. Here we go. I wanted to show you guys this. I like uh, I like to joke around a lot. I mean, I showed this in one of my lives. I mean, in one of my shorts, I showed this. But I I, I decided to take a little time. So you guys could actually see this. You ready? This is amazing. This is amazing. Ready? Here we go. Start at one end and work my way to the other. Dedicated to all Korean War veterans. The Forgotten War, June 25th, 1950 to July 27th, 1955. Here we go. Iwo Jima. February 23rd, 1945. One of the most famous photographs ever filmed, ever taken. <sighs> Japanese surrender aboard the USS Missouri. Battleship, September 2nd, 1945. All right. Then we move over here. So this is it right here. The community that I live in is called Fallbrook. And these are all the vets from Fallbrook. It doesn't go into detail which wars they served in. It's not in alphabetical order either. Pretty interesting. So I'm not sure if these are guys that were killed in combat or uh, exactly 
but at least this community took the time to honor their veterans. It may say at the bottom, if these vets, if these are all um, individuals that were killed in combat. Lots of names. It's like this in every community in the country. More individuals. Here's a nice one right here, you guys. Remember Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941. Pearl Harbor Survivors Association. Wow. All right. And these are uh, the ships. Look at this. Names of which ships they were on. A lot of ships got sank in, in Pearl Harbor. This guy got killed at the barracks right here. He wasn't even on one of the ships. William Cockrell. He died in the barracks. Four shaft. It wasn't just the naval base that was attacked. They attacked multiple targets. Fourth Defense Battalion. But, so it wasn't just guys on the ships. They attacked a whole bunch of different areas. Restation. Ford Island Naval Air Station. Andre de Haley. And you know, these people, uh, I I'm proud of this right here because these people should never be forgotten. Not one of these people. And now I got it for prosperity. Now it's, now it's it, for prosperity. Look at all these names. And way more people than this died in Pearl Harbor. This is just a small number of the people that got killed in Pearl, Pearl Harbor. I'm glad I walked over here. Naval base. MCAS Iwa. Marine Corps Air Station Iwa. This guy was a Marine. Those air stations were probably next to each other. Eleven year war. Vietnam. I'm glad I came over here. It's a very, I, I love, I come over here um, as many times as I can. Here's another one, look at this. Veterans of the war with Mexico. Civil War veterans. And I don't know how many of you, how many of you know this but the Civil War vets were treated horribly after that war ended. So all these people were people that died in combat. Got the flagpole in the way. That's it. Blue Star Memorial. 
Never forgot. Never forgot. I'm glad I came down here and did this. Dedicated to all Marine Corps and Navy personnel, past, present, and future who have proudly served at Camp Pendleton. Yes. And then this one right here, P-O-W-M-I-A. You are not forgotten. Never be forgotten. Never be forgotten. And we got old glory. Okay. So yeah, I'm glad I came down here today to check out this memorial. It's a, it's a, it's a decent, it is a nice tribute to those that have served out of this community. It's a nice little park. One second, I'll show you the park. It's a, it's a square. They got a stage for entertainment. Sometimes they have drum circles down here, other events. They have lights. During the, um, these flowers have, these trees have beautiful white flowers on them. Like uh, cherry blossoms. And when, the, when, these, when these trees have the, those white flowers on them, this place looks spectacular at night with the lighting. Anyways, it's a nice little, um, it's a nice little, it's a nice little, um, they have drum circles down here sometimes. They have drum circles here, look at this. It's a nice little statue. Check that out. Anyways, just out, out and about doing my thing today. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hard so. Yes. Freaking decided to put in a little bit of time. Spend some time with you guys. Walking around. Let's see if anybody messes with me, because I got this camera. Hopefully not, but you, you never know. You never know. It's nice out there. I watched that video of that uh, ship hitting that bridge. So uh, I, was review I was watching that video, and it looks like that ship lost power a couple of times before it hit that pillar. At least twice, it looked like the ship lost power. Hey, how's it going? So, very interesting. And then uh, once, it, once those ships lose power, they have no control over the ship anymore. The ship's gonna go where it wants to go, once it loses power. It's sad though, because there was a lot of people crossing that bridge when it collapsed, when it was destroyed. I, I, I guess technically that wouldn't even be considered a bridge collapse. That was a, uh, that was a full blown accident I'm trying to cross the street. A full blown accident that happened there. I feel bad for those people that were crossing that bridge. They probably all died. That was a that was a big bridge. And it was a tall bridge. That bridge was high up in the air. In order to let those uh that sh ships go underneath it like that. So those people in those vehicles probably fell, I would say probably 60 to 100 feet to the water. Probably 10 stories. From the bottom of the bridge 
to the water. It's probably 10 stories. From where the cars were, it's probably even more than that. Huh. I'm out just walking around. I'm going over here by the library. We're gonna go, we're gonna go camp out in front of the library. See what happens over here at this library. Anyways, it's a um, county library. Not here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens. See if anybody messes with me. Uh, walking through the parking lot. <laughs> There's our. Uh, this is our library over here. Yes. I hope everybody's having a good day. Got to go. I got to go mute real quick. One second. So anyways, had to talk to him off mic. Um, he was with that girl that attacked me. The woman that attacked me that night, he was one of the people that was with her. We'll see if the security guard comes over here and messes with me. <coughs> so anyways, there's old glory right there, yes. Right there, look at that. This is our charging station. We got uh, one charging station here. For these cars. I have an electric car. We bring our, we bring our electric car over here. So there, here's the, um, there's the security. Security, there he is. Let's see if he messes with me. Anyways, this is the library. I'll show you guys the outside of this library. This library has interesting art. <laughs> we might go in. We'll see. We might go in. Take a look inside the... Oh, is this zoomed? There we go. Keep it from bouncing. Are these, these are the donated books, right? These books? No, they're, they're library books. They're, yeah, they're all people donated. Yes. To the bottom shelf, yeah. right? Yes. See, check this out, you guys. It's called the bottom shelf, and they get um, these books are donated books. They are donated by the community. Check that out there. Isn't that amazing? I came by here, and these books were sitting out on the ground. And I thought I thought that people had. Um, had just, um, I thought people had just like returned their, their checkout books and just laid them there on the ground like that. But no, that's actual private organization. Anyways, I think that's pretty cool. Check out this artwork, one second. Look at this. Then look at this right here. This is cool. One second. Let me get on it. There we go. First Girl Scout Troop. And then there they are. How cool is that? 
Now, I think that's a cool photo. And they embedded it into the art. First Girl Scout troop west of the Morton, Rocky Mountains, 1917. That is cool. And then check out this art. One second. I got to back up off it. Look at this. So, from, look, from the front, right? Now, look at it in relief. Hold up. It's in relief. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? See that? It's in relief. That's an amazing piece of art. Amazing. And then this one, it's got a, it's got a quail. And then um, this one is also done in relief. See that? And it, of course it's got the avocado because it's Fallbrook. Fallbrook is the avocado capital of the world. For those that don't know. And then what does this say? This doesn't have a message. Here we go. Uh, this is the Watkins family in the 1800s settled in Fallbrook. So this is one of the uh, original families. One of the Old West families that settled here in Fallbrook. The Watkins family. Pretty interesting. There's some children. Uh, some more of the family up there. Let's see this one. This panel is uh, really impressive also. It's got the sunflower on it. And then the whole entire sunflower is done in relief. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? Look at that. Whole entire sunflower. Yes. We might go inside. Let's see. And then some other artwork. Here's a courtyard that they did. They have live entertainment out here on this courtyard. See the speakers up there. They put on live entertainment there. Pretty interesting. Oh, also, this is an eco-friendly um, library. On the top of the library, they have live plants on the roof. Maybe show you guys the roof, too. Should go inside. Ask him about it. Monday, April 1st. Here we go. So this, this library is a new library. It was dedicated in January 20, 2011. So I, I'm assuming that this person was responsible for the artwork. San Diego County Library. Rules of Conduct. Let's go with the Rules of Conduct. Here we go. There's the guard. He's sitting there on the other side of this. of operation. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Oh, it's closed. It's not open. It's not open for business. Hey, brother, can I ask you a question? When's it open? These are the hours. These are the hours. Today is, oh, it's not open yet. It's still too early. Today is Tuesday. They don't open until 12. Hey, th thank you, sir. Thank you. They open at 12. I'm not gonna stick around. I'm not gonna hang out. Hey, how's it going? I'm not gonna stay, hang around here for 40 minutes. 
But as you can see, this is a really nice library. Anyways. It's a beautiful day out here today. It's nice and sunny. Let me see here. I'm going to put my sunglasses on. What? Check that out. Shit. Yes. We put on the freaking... We put on the large sunglasses. Put the... <laughs> Arg. See if anybody gives me a hard time. Oh, why is he wearing sunglasses? What's he doing? I got people looking at me already. What's he doing? I got people driving by looking at me. Here we go. I'm going to show you guys the top of this building. Albert's library. The library of love. There's a bee. Oh, this is where I go to get my chicharron. Right there, you guys. This is where I go to get the chicharrones. Right here. These people. It's the Garabies. That's their business right over there. That's the spot. That's where Lar goes to get his chicharrones con carne. Yes, I got a deputy out here. Popo over there, see him? Yes, show you guys this library. It's freaking bomb ass. How they got the library set up. Here he goes. 5-0. Look at that. So this, this is the roof. This is the roof to the library. Keep moving. That security officer was an allied officer. The one that the security officer that I asked that question was the Allied security officer. Shit, Ally, Ally. There you go. Look at those flowers up there. Yes, yes. Here's another, here's another courtyard. I don't know if this is for patrons though. It looks, it must be. But look at, they got art. Art down there. <laughs> moving along, moving along. Shit. Oh, the sun's out. Wow. I feel like a freaking vampire. Look it. I feel like a vampire. You guys can't see my, you can't see the lar, the lar eyes. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the lar eyes right now. You can't see it. I'm doing it. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in lar, lar cognito. <laughs> Larnita. Lar oh, here's that, um, here's that courtyard again. They have events. This is where they host events at. Down here in this, this courtyard. At the library. The gate's open. Both gates are open. I wonder why these gates are open. See that? Gates unsecure. They should probably be closed. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Here you go. No trespassing or lodging on these premises. Violators may be prosecuted. There you go. That's what I like. Nine a.m. Said. Oh, so this is open to the public. For whatever reason, I'm not going in there. Nothing interesting in there. But I like that. That's at least they got a penal code associated to that no trespassing sign. Just don't have a sign up. Some weird ass sign. Oh, look at this. 
They got the official ballot box. Go ahead and vote for your favorite freaking scandalous politician. I have no trust in the government, man. No ballots will be accepted here after 8 p.m. Freaking California. SD vote registers office. I don't even like voting. I'm telling you. I have no trust in any of those. I don't have any trust in any of those politicians at all. Well, I'm glad that the um, that the uh, that the bookstore is open, but the library isn't. How I, how ironic how, how ironic is that? The bookstore is open, but not the library. It's called the bottom shelf for those that care. Let me one second. Somebody drop the link for this, please. It's called The Bottom Shelf, The Friends Bookstore. It's a private, it's a private charity. I think it's pretty cool. I think that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love it. All right, I'm not gonna hang around here until this place opens. Screw that. It's beautiful outside today in Fallbrook. These clouds are covering the mountain, but that's Mount Palomar. One second. That's Palomar Mountain right out there. You can't see it because of the clouds, but that's where the um, Palomar Observatory is at. It's on that mountain. You can see the bottom of the mountain. All right, let's keep moving. My friend, I'm gonna show you guys this mural. My friend did this mural. His name is Brett Stokes. He designed one of the coins that was considered for the state of California. Those new quarters. One of his uh, designs actually was, was considered for um, that coin. He's pretty famous. His name is Brett Stokes. All right, I got sunglasses on. <laughs> doing, I'm doing the eyes. You guys just can't see it. Arg, larg. Let's go. We're gonna go look at Brett's artwork. It's my man. He's a good guy. The last time I looked at it, it needed some work. It needed to be touched up. Let's see if he touched it up. <laughs> this is a private residence, also, by the way. This is not a commercial space. I think when he did the mural, it was a commercial space, but it's no longer commercial space. No, he has not, he has not touched it up. But he's a, he's, Brett is an amazing artist. So anyways, one second, here you go. Then over here, he's a uh, super talented. And I don't, I don't remember what, it, what year he did the mural. Oh, here it is. Special things. He's. Sometimes he's out here in front of this coffee shop. If, we'll see if he's here. He hangs out at this coffee shop over here. So we'll see if he's here. But anyways, his name is Brett Stokes. As you can see, he's talented. Those are probably people that helped him. Let's go see if Red is at that um, coffee shop. Maybe one morning I'll go live and I'll introduce you guys to Brett. He's a freaking talented guy. He likes hanging out at the, at the coffee shop. He has a, a lot of artwork here in town. A lot of murals and things of that nature. My fingers, my hands up here. See if he's here. He might be out here. No, he's not. I don't see him. I don't see bread anywhere. Let me go ask these girls if he comes by more than once a day. Oh, they're busy. I, I don't see him in the store either. He's not in here. 
I don't I don't see him in there. Anyways. I'm gonna cross the street again. I was hope I was hoping more people would stop by. People had to work. This is where my friend got killed. One of my buddies got killed right here at this intersection. Trying to cross the street. It's not a it's not a very busy street. But somehow or another he managed to get himself killed. Trying to cross the street. And they're supposed to give me the right of way, but they're not. And I'm not gonna walk out in front of them. I'm supposed to stop. Anyways, I'm sitting there waiting on them, but they're supposed to stop for me. So anyways, that's how that works. What's up? Here's one of my friends. Yes, how you been? That's your grandbaby. That's your grandbaby. I'm on, on my uh, on my live stream. Do you mind? Do you care? Yes, but well, we won't show the baby. We won't show the baby. How old is the baby? Yes. How have you been? This is my friend right here. I'm I'm just out uh, giving giving people a tour of the town. All right, listen. Give me a hug before you go. Uh, all right, it's awesome. Awesome to see you. You take care. It's a really good friend. She's got her grandbaby with her. That's one of my uh, very close friends. You gotta have, look at, you gotta have people in your life that you can talk to, right? About anything. That lady right there. She's somebody that I know that I could talk. I could talk to her about anything I got going on in my life. You had to have people like that in your life, by the way, because you can't keep you can't keep stuff uh, trapped up inside your head. It'll ruin you. You got to have people in your life that you trust that you can talk to about anything. And she's one of those people for me. That's what keeps you centered and grounded. Keeps you from spinning out of control. All right, moving along. Okay, it's continuing to go. I think we'll flip it back around again. There we go. Oh, I got a. Well, I can cross. Check that out. Hold up. Check this out. That's pretty cool. Is that cool or what? Main Street, circa 1920. Fallbrook, Main Street. Let's see who did this one. This was done in 2020. I can't see, I can't see anything because of the sun's glare. I hope you guys can see that. But anyways, that was done in 2020, that mural. We don't have a lot of murals in Fallbrook. That, this particular mural is nice. Anyways, moving along. It's getting hot out here now. I'm wearing this jacket. I'm starting to overheat. Here's the art gallery. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. There we go. One second. One second. There we go. It's a nice art. Yes. Two of my um, two of my children are artists, and their art has been featured at the art gallery. Here's the art center, right? And a couple of my kids have had their art featured at that art center. They're pretty good art. They're they're both really good artists. It is. That's amazing. I should ask her if she's got local art. Let's go, let's go see. There's nobody ready to leave here. So anyways, moving along. This guy, 
is a guy that I know. Also, let's see if he's in here. I don't see anybody in there. Is it open? No. So the the owner of this shop I've known for a long time. Also. Known him for about almost 30 years. And he's a nice guy too. Here's another, uh, here's that Fallbrook art. Do you guys have um, local artists in here too? So look at this, you guys. They're leaving, unfortunately. Hey, can I come by sometime when you guys are open? Yeah, we're open tomorrow. Right. 11. Yes. So it's local, all artists enjoying. One second, one second. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Hi. All artists can join. Nobody is restricted. Right. So you don't have to be judged in to put art in here. And, and, our, and, and all the artists are local artists. No, yes. They're all local. Plus, we actually have some people as far away as Hammond and Long Beach. Right. Does Brett have Sandic. any of his art in here, too? Uh, Brett, what's his last Brett name? Brett Stokes? No. Uh, no, he, no, he yeah. doesn't have any art in here. No. But okay. he used to a long time ago. I thought yeah. he did. Yeah. 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 So, um, anyways, do, uh, do you guys have a web page or anything? Yes, we do. Public okay. Artists Association. It's on org.org online. Thank you, sir. So I appreciate your time. time. Yeah, thank so you. So what, what, what day can I come by? Uh, tomorrow. It's, it's so up. maybe we'll come by and I can show you guys some of the some of the local artists. My, yeah. I was just telling my audience that my daughter and my son, their art used to be shown over there. Okay. Well, we so have students, students for free. And if you're in college, it's for free. And if you're right. in grade school, it's for free. So right. we can put your art in. Yeah, my daughter and my son. Their art was featured over here when they were in school. Cool. Yeah. Uh, All right. Take care, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank what you for you your time. Do you have a card for your webpage? Uh, I'm on. I, I can give you my YouTube channel. I'm on YouTube right now. You're on YouTube. Okay. Yes. Do you have a pen? I know. What's just what's your name? It's L A R uh -huh. space N C M. L A R space N C M. N C M. Okay. Right. And you'll find. Um, you'll see all kind of videos. Cool. Oh, nice. Okay, you guys. It was a pleasure meeting you folks. Take care. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. These are all local artists. Look at this. Yes. Yes. I love it. I love it. Oh, I think he's going to go. Anyways, gotta, you have to support your local things, man. You got to support your community. So anyways, we'll come back by and we'll look at some of that art. We'll do that. We'll freaking come back by. Maybe we'll do a premiere. We'll see. You know, I don't like to plan anything because I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm freaking crazy. Crazy lar. I'm not trying to plan nothing. I just do what I like to do. So if you see me going live tomorrow, that's because I'm coming down here to look at that art. Yes. This is where I go to get my um this is my this is where I go to get my firearms. Right here. Yes, Second Amendment, baby. This, these are my peoples right here. So, I've known these people for a super long time. Anyways, I don't want to uh, spend too. I don't want YouTube to blow me up over something silly. But anyways, staunch supporter of the Second Amendment. All right. Here we go. Making we're making the tour it's starting to get hot. How long have I been on? I have been on for almost an hour. Yes! Yes! And I met this gentleman a few days ago. He's got e-bikes. Check out some of these e-bikes. Look at this. It's in red, white, and blue. Kind of pricey. I don't know much about e-bikes, but he has some pretty cool e-bikes. Oh, back on. All right. Pretty tired. Today is my day off, and um, I keep the I keep the same schedule even on my days off. So when I'm on my days off, I keep the same schedule. Because just uh, for ease of, um, that way I don't have to make constant adjustments. So I try to um, keep the same schedule. And it's getting late now. 
it's almost it's coming up on noon. But uh, I hope everybody's enjoying this. Just getting out, doing my, you know, letting you guys see what I got going on in my neck of the woods. All right. See if he's still cooking that food. Buenos dias. Yes. Not walking around. It looks like it's gonna rain again. All right, let's go over here. I'm heading back up the um, street. Fire department. I got the sun over me. I don't know if you guys can see me at all. This camera on this phone is very sensitive to light. Oh, he's still cooking. My brother still out here cooking. Yes. There you go. Still doing ribs. Yes. Yes. Look at the chicken. The ribs are coming. Ribs are almost done now. Look at that. Yes. Cooking it on an open pit. Got the ribs going like a box. Look at that over there. Chamoy, that's a chamoy. For those of you, those of you that enjoy chamoy, that's a chamoy right there. I have a chamoy tree. I have, I have, a, I have a chamoy tree. I have a banana tree in my yard. What's up, brother? I have both. I have bananas and chamoy in my yard. All right, all right. I'm gonna cross this street. Somebody's cat went missing. Three animals don't last long in fall, but we got a lot of coyotes. You don't see any stray dogs or cats in fall, but ever. We have uh, we have foxes, coyotes, bobcats. Um, what else? We have hawks, and the coyotes in Fallbrook are not afraid. I've seen coyote. I've seen coyotes walking down this street right here, right here. One second. I've seen coyotes walking down this street like a boss. <laughs> Just walking down that way too, like a boss. No fear. None. The foxes aren't like that though. I will say that the foxes, the foxes tend to tend to stay um, hidden, but the coyotes don't care. They're not afraid at all. That lady almost hit me. They don't pay attention to the lights. I had a, a light to cross the street. She almost still almost hit me. So when I first moved here, people used to ride, people used to ride their horses on Main Street. This is Main Street. And back when I first moved here in the 90s, people were still riding their horses on these streets, up and down these streets. Not anymore. Haven't seen a horseback rider on this street in many years. <clears throat> okay, I'm making my I'm making my way back to my uh, to my house on a foot on a foot foot walk. Yes. I can't read the chat, so I'm just narrating. Anyways, here we go. It's nice and sunny. Trying not to, trying not to get ran over. 
These people in this town drive way too fast. This road is 35 miles an hour. This one. And if I showed, just let this camera sit in here, these people go down this road doing 80 miles an hour. Like they've lost their minds. Anyways. I think that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and end this. Just wanted to spend some time with you guys. Try to get um, a little a little live stream time on my day off. And during the daytime. You know, I'm going to be doing this more often, by the way. Because it's becoming an issue for me to live stream where I'm from the other place. Anyways, I'm going to take off. All of you have an outstanding day. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. This is Lar, North County Media. Pow. Everybody have a great day. Peace.